This is just one piece of a multi-part course. If you're interested in more, check out tunefiles.com. What I want to do now is dive in and set up the parenting for all of my layers. This is an awesome new feature that was introduced in the 2019 edition of Animate CC. In the past, being able to parent layers was not possible with the vanilla version. You had to go through and select all the symbols that you want to move at once, readjust your origin points, and it took forever. So here, by being able to parent your layers, the process is more streamlined. The first thing you'll want to do is double click on the Chad rig to go inside. And we want to focus on the timeline. At the top, you'll see we have a new symbol which allows us to see a parenting view. So let's click on that, and that changes the way the timeline looks. You can see we now have this space, and if we highlight over, we're able to see it changes color. And if we click down, it allows us to set the parent for any layer. So let's think about this one for a moment. How is a character set up? Well, arms are connected to the body, legs are connected to the pelvis, but we have some other considerations to make as well. Let's start with the pelvis. The pelvis is going to be the only layer that's not connected to anything else. We're going to use that as our center. The next logical connection to make would be with the body then. So the body will be connected to the pelvis. We can do this by clicking and then choosing pelvis from the list. And when we do this, you can see it creates this nice little hierarchy. And pelvis is labeled as first, linking over to body, showing that pelvis is indeed the main layer. If I undo this, you can also link up by clicking and dragging and setting up your links that way. So if you want pelvis to be the parent for body, drag body over to pelvis. Let's keep going now. We have this nice little line showing us what's connected. Let's see what happens as we add more connections. We know that the head is connected to the body. So let's just click on head and drag it down and attach it to the body. What about the front bicep? Well, if we click on that, that is connected to the body. So let's go ahead and drag that down to the body as well. And you can see how this is working out now. When it goes to the body, it links all the way up to these two showing that they are next in line. What else connects to the body? Well, we know that the back bicep should. So we'll come in and drag and drop bicep over to body. And I believe that should be it. So let's move on to the next logical place, perhaps the legs. Well, the thighs are actually not connected to the body. They're connected to the pelvis. So for the front thigh, I'm just going to click, or you can drag if you wish, and then choose pelvis from the list. So you can see now that pelvis goes to thigh, and we can see that it's on the same level as body in terms of hierarchy. Let's keep going here. So back thigh will also connect to your pelvis, just like that. So now let's go to the top and just kind of go down the list and see what we need to do from here. The front forearm should connect to the front bicep. We'll click on the parent button and then choose front bicep from the list. And you can see now we're expanding this further. The front hand should be connected to the front forearm. So we'll come over here and click on that. And you can see that that currently makes sense. Bicep goes to forearm, goes to hand. So you have your front foot here that needs to connect to your front calf. So we'll just come down and select that. And then your calf should be connected to your thigh. So come over here and just click on that. And you'll see as I change these, it just updates in real time and creates the path that we are currently looking at. And I actually made a mistake here. The front foot will actually be connected to the front ankle. And so if you ever make a mistake, you can either click on this again to choose to remove, or you can choose to change it right here. So you have the pelvis, the thigh, the calf, the ankle, and then the foot. So let's just keep on going here. The pelvis is obviously where it needs to be. The back foot 
needs to be connected to the back ankle. So come down here, choose back ankle. You have your back ankle that needs to connect to the back calf. And then the back calf needs to connect to the back thigh. And then we come down here, we need our back forearm connected to the back bicep. Back hand connected to back forearm. And then the back hair is going to be connected to the head. So now with all of your connections set, you can come over here and give it a test. You need to use the free transform tool for this. And if I come down here, what I'm going to do is click once on the hand. And if you rotate it, that works as expected because it's kind of separated from everything else. It's the last item on the chain when you look at this in terms of hierarchy. But if I were to back step and click on the forearm and then rotate this, you can see that it's rotating the hand as well. And then if I were to come in here and rotate the bicep, we also have this whole thing rotating along with it. If I come in here and I rotate the body, the head and the arms are staying with the body. You can come in here and try it out with your legs as well to make sure everything is connected. I advise that you just make sure everything is good to go. I can see that some of my origin points are a little bit off. And so that's something we can correct here soon. You can see that one's a little bit better. But when you have that sort of breakage, it's usually due to the origin point. But everything is looking pretty good. We can come in here and individually rotate things if you want. And not bad. There are some corrections we need to make just with the origin points. And we will have to fill in some areas with the gaps that are left like with the body when it bends. To view the rest of this course or gain access to the source files, visit tunefiles.com.